And the Spartans take over. Third appearance today at that service line for Maggie Midget, the five foot ten senior for Michigan State. Her dad was in the Coast Guard growing up, and she moved all around the country, had to attend nine different schools in nine different years. Oh, wow. This is the longest Maggie Midget has ever been in one place by far in her entire life here in East Lansing. Wow, that's tremendous. Getting her equilibrium. Basically, every single year she had to start anew and meet new players and... Meet new classmates at a new school that somehow fought through it to gain a scholarship here for the Spartans. That's tremendous. I mean, that she, you can you can tell that she's a creature of change. She can handle it well. If you have to do that that many times, many people can't handle that. And so to do that, I appreciate and applaud her. And Maggie's dad in the Coast Guard, her first two years here at Michigan State, they lived in San Francisco, California. They rarely had a chance, chance to see her play. But then, her junior year, he finally retired. Oh, great. The family moved right here in the Lansing area. So it's a family atmosphere now, really for the first time, for Maggie Midget in college. She's doing the setting for Michigan State. Oh, great State. dig. Great, perfect dig. Oh, that was, you couldn't get a better textbook dig. That was tremendous. The center didn't even have to move. Four to two, Spartans set number three, Norris again back to serve. Austin with the attack and another issue at the net. Carolina takes over and they trail by one. So that was Schwartz. And even though she said she didn't do it, the fact that she immediately was like, that wasn't me, kind of told us that she touched the net. And that can also be a momentum changer, as we spoke before about Aaron, is that continuous nets will affect the momentum, especially when people are making good moves. Carolina trying to make a move here in set number three. Kronowski with the attack, and it's down for the kill, and the Spartans lead again by a pair. Alyssa Kronowski. From Munster, Indiana, about 30 miles east of Chicago. Alyssa actually has a twin sister, Abigail, who attends college at Purdue. So a couple of Big Ten schools in the family. 5-3 Michigan State, set three. Spartans this year in matches determined in three sets are 3-0. and oh. North Carolina, when they have played a match that lasted only three sets, they are 0-3. Oh but they played Minnesota and Wisconsin, a pair of top 10 teams, and also lost 3-0 to a Cal team receiving votes in the top 25. Sky Howard living up to her first name, and it's 5 for Michigan State. She's doing a great job of moving alongside the net. If we saw she ran the slide, then she came in front. She's doing a good job of creating space and making the middle blocker have to move with her. Frodenberg back to serve. Won four state titles in high school at Cardinal Gibbons High School in Raleigh, North Carolina, and she ties things up. That was a very smart serve because what we see with Schwartz right there, she's not really passing. She's just taking space to kind of make, have it look a little more cluttered on the court. But the problem with that is that she's trying to move quickly, and that's making it tough for Cox to take that ball. So sometimes with this situation, you just want to have them move out of serve receive so that way you know exactly what area you're going to take. Good look at the two-time captain, Frodenberg, as she... Attempts to give North Carolina the lead, but it nestles into the net, and the Spartans take a one-point advantage. Audrey Alford, the setter, and the graduate transfer out of Oklahoma back to serve for Michigan State. We're starting to see a lot more grad transfers. I know a few teams that might have two of them, and it allows these young ladies to get a master's and come out with two degrees. Kronowski with the attack, and the kill for Michigan State, and they lead by a pair. Kronowski, academic, all Big Ten. 
Alford back to serve again. Her mom played volleyball at Hawaii, a very good volleyball school, and also was the head coach of the University of Cincinnati. Oh, that's interesting. That was a great take by Cox. I just love the fact that she was there ready for the move. You know, took in the chest, they were able to play the ball and get it back over. She's just is really fearless, and that's what you want to see in a libero. Don't tie off the slide for North Carolina, the player who leads this Tar Heel team in hitting percentage. Came in hitting 361. Annabelle Archer stepping back to serve, the Fairview, Texas native. About 30 minutes north of Dallas in Texas. Ronowski with a big, powerful right arm for the kill. We saw her have a few errors because she was trying to hit over the outside, and that had her hit the antenna, that type of thing. But with this one, I mean, she found that seam tremendously. She just keeps swinging away. She's doing a great job on the outside. She's hitting 250. Those are the type of numbers you want to see from outside. Ronowski with seven kills. She leads the way today for Michigan State. Sam McLean back to serve. Don't tie off the slide, and it's stuffed. Norris and pulled Jan at the net for the Spartans. Even though Norris isn't hitting the percent and getting the kill she wants, she's doing a great job with the other things. She's doing a good job of blocking, putting up solid blocks. She's back there digging up a storm. And sometimes your offensive game really isn't working. And because of that, you have to make sure that it doesn't affect all aspects of your game. Right now, Norris has 10 digs, so she's doing a great job also with that. Skyler Wine captures her eighth kill of the day for North Carolina. Wine had 10 on Friday against Miami. 